What's up guys, welcome back to Gotti's Garage. In this video, uh, just like the title shows, I'm gonna show you how to disable your seatbelt alarm, as you saw in the beginning of this clip, me driving around. Um, and it's easy to disable it and then re-enable it by doing the exact same process. Uh, I just found this out yesterday after like five months of owning this truck. Six months, I think, maybe. Um, yeah, I think this will be my sixth payment. So, yeah, it's really simple. It's very easy. And actually, it has a memory, too. So every time you shut your truck off, you turn it back on. You still don't have to worry about that seatbelt. Even though I know seatbelts are a law, but, you know, who, who, who be kidding? You're watching this because you hate wearing your seatbelt, just like I do. So, um... We're going to get right into that, but before we do that, I want you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up because every uh, thumbs up helps my channel or my video get out there. And then make sure you watch all the way through this video because watching all the way through the video is in YouTube's algorithm. That's how they uh, determine if your video is good enough to be uh, more advertised, which is always good, as we all know. So, um, also. I had a subscriber, I think he's a subscriber, uh, mention that he wants a detailed video about this harness that I have that I built for this uh, Ram and the Jeep and the Durangos. Um, so you can turn off your stability and traction control so you can blow donuts and stuff like that. And I'd make a dope video of a, of a crazy video in mind, but we don't have any snow. So it's been cold, but no snow. So I'm not going to just, you know, tear my tires up and stuff doing it on pavement or anything because, yeah, I kind of like my truck. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start shut your truck off completely. Nothing on, not even on on mode or anything, just completely turned off. And you want to buckle your seatbelt. So the seatbelt's buckled. Then you want to turn your key onto the on position, but not to start it. And then after it cycles through everything in the gauges, okay, which it did, you take your seatbelt off three times within one minute. So there's one, two three and then one more time just for end so technically I guess four times and then you shut your key off and then you hear that little beep at the very end that's your seatbelt warning light it means that your seatbelt has been disabled so you can take your seatbelt off or your seatbelt chime to be disabled and then I just turn the key back over again let everything cycle through let me take you off the windshield And as you can see, hold on, I can't see the GoPro's off. Okay. So as you can see, that seatbelt light is on still, which it will remain on. So we're going to go ahead and start it. I have LED lights, so uh, it shows that the left rear signal um, is out, and that's because I have LED lights, and it's a canvas system getting uh, output from the LED system. Um, I believe, I'm not certain on it, but I think it just puts too much power out there. LED doesn't take as much power, so it sends some back, and I think that's why it's getting a warning code. Um, but there is a app, apparently, on the phone with a Bluetooth OBD2 reader. As far as I know, I don't, I haven't really looked into this. And you can uh, go through and check all that out, which I'm going to do. Also, we've got some goodies coming for this truck. So, hit that subscribe button, because there's going to be more RAM content. So, now we're going to start driving this thing again. Sure you don't hit the garbage can. We're just gonna do a quick little drive just to show you guys that the seatbelt lights do not, or the seatbelt chime does not turn back on. And then I'll even shut the truck off and then open the door so it cuts all the power and stuff like that. And then we'll do it again just so you guys can be certain. But you see that the notification still comes on, but there is no chime anymore. And I haven't tested it because my girlfriend always wears her seatbelt in the passenger seat. But um, I'm pretty sure it works for both front or uh, driver and passenger. And don't mind my little exhaust, broken exhaust studs. Take whatever. I'm gonna be getting that fixed soon. I've been lazy and I haven't been, haven't sent it in yet. But as you can see, we just drove probably about three blocks and no chime so we're gonna come up here to the stop sign and we're gonna shut the truck off and I'll show you guys that it does have like a memory so once you disable that code it doesn't turn back unless you re-enable it in order to re-enable it you do the exact same process I was like kind of unsure about that so I tried that before we even did that all right so I'm gonna shut the truck off 
All right, and open the door so everything shuts off. And don't mind the X radar. So the so the warning comes back on, and your seatbelt light is on too, but no chime. So I hope you like this video, and we have more Ram 1500 things coming, uh, wheel spacers, LED headlights, um, leveling kit. I, they're not coming yet, I haven't ordered them yet, but I'm doing all my research, trying to find the best ones, um, especially for the money, I guess, because obviously you can definitely splurge and, you know, get the high quality stuff, which I would like to one day, but eventually maybe if my uh, channel gets a little bit more traction, we can do that. Um, I don't know, we're coming up on a dirt road right now, so maybe we'll do uh, a little pull, or like a little, I'll show you like the harness, how that kind of does work, so. I've never been down here before. And if you guys are watching to this end of this video, thank you so much. Um, my how to hardwire radio harness did so well because everybody watched to the end of the video and it made me not a lot of money but it made me more money than most videos so most of my videos and this road's pretty cool actually I might go ahead and set you guys on the roof the button right here it disables the analog brake system um, also doing like the stability control and ABS and stuff. It does put a check engine light on, but it goes out, goes away, especially if you have a scanner. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys on the roof now. like that I know it wasn't much because it's dirt and it's not snow and I don't really like doing that too much because yeah but I do like this truck um anyways if you watched the end of this video thank you guys so much please hit that subscribe button please hit that like button please get looking forward to more Ram videos also some 2021 plans for the channel which we're going to be doing a budget build and it is going to be awesome and I'm going to stick to it and we're not going to do anything crazy but it's going to be like 
well, it's gonna be a drift budget build. It's gonna how to build a drift car, very very cheap. So I want you guys to subscribe to this channel, and I want you guys to follow, and I want you guys to hit that bell notification so you guys can do that, or so you guys can see when videos come up. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this uh, little tip helped you. Also, I got other videos such as how to hardwire the police radar so you don't have any cords coming down anywhere. You see, my I got my cords ran all through there. So that's a video on how to do that. Also the video on how to install that harness, which I just got new stuff today. I just got the, the rest of what I ordered today. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay different and see you guys next time.